In this lecture, we will learn how to create and define grids in Revit. Click on New and select Construction Template or Structural Template. Right now, we are focused on Structural, so we will be clicking on Structural Template. But if you have to focus on Structural as well as some of the architectural features, you can click on Construction Template as it gives us wide variety of options considering architectural and structural elements as well. So we have opened a default construction template. It offers us the structural and architectural features as well. So these are the grids we have to define in the Autodesk Revit window. We are given with a plan and we will be defining these grids in Revit. So I have selected the grid option from the architectural and now I am drawing the grids. If you see on the screen, a, a faded blue color line shows so we can know that the line is straight. You can also change the scale of the line. If you need to see the bubble, big or small, you can adjust the scale. I would prefer to adjust it at quarter inch or 1 by 8 inches. You can also change the bubble size from here by clicking on the bubble. Now let's replicate the grid. The first next grid is at a distance of 3 feet center to center and it's called A. Let's create another grid at 3 feet spacing and press enter. So now Revit automatically created a grid B. Now the next grid that is grid C is at distance of 3 feet 8 inches and D at 2 feet 4 inches. If I select the multiple option then the copy option will be activated after copying one element as well. And the constraint option will keep my grid line straight. Now after D we have another grid E at 3 feet 8 inches. And grid E, grid F at 10 feet 4 inches. And last grid at 3 feet 2 inches. That is grid G. If you see the bubbles are quite large, we can adjust the scale of the drawing so the bubbles are reasonably ok and visible. Now similarly we will be defining the grid lines in the horizontal direction. You can go to a structure and select the grid option. You can see the shortcut for the grid is GR. If you press GR from the keyboard. The grid option will automatically be turned on. You can select the grid option from the structure tab or architecture tab. Both are giving the same shortcut. It means the command is same. So the first grid on the horizontal line is named as grid number 1 if we see in the drawing. So we will rename it here as 1. Now similarly the horizontal grids are numbered. So Revit automatically will generate on the basis of the first grid. Since first grid is a number, so the next grid will also be a number. And it is located and similarly I am just placing the grids arbitrarily and now we will be using another method to define the spacing of the grids. The first spacing is 10 feet 8 inches. Sorry, we entered at a wrong location. The spacing between grid 1 and 2 is 10 feet 8 inches. So we'll add the grid spacing here and Revit will automatically make the grid closer. And similarly between grid 2 and 3 we have a spacing of 4 feet. For grid 3 and 4, 4 feet 9.75 inches or 9 3 by 4 inches. So 
so i'll similarly simply be expressing at 9.75 so that it accepts that since 3 by 4 means 0.75 Similarly, for the grid space between 4 and 5, and then grid grid between grid 5 and 6. There is no grid 7. So I'll be erasing the grid from here. If you select and stretch one grid, then all the grids will automatically be adjusted accordingly. Select one grid and drag it above. Rest of the grids will automatically be dragged above following the grid line which we have stretched. That is how we define the basic grid rectangular grids in Revit.